Hello everyone! Welcome or welcome back here on my channel. This is me once again, Teacher Jinjin, your virtual teacher here on YouTube. Kung bago ka pa lang sa channel na ito, gumagawa ako ng mga Tagalog tutorial videos mula grade 7 hanggang grade 11. Kung interesado ka, please like, subscribe, at i-click mo na rin ang notification bell para ma-notify ka kapag may bago akong upload na video. Just keep on watching! Magandang araw mga minamahal kong grade 10 students. Sa video na ito ay tuturuan ko kayo kung paano nga ba gamitin ang remainder theorem. So, ang remainder theorem states that if the polynomial p of x is divided by x minus c, then the remainder is p of c. Ibig sabihin, kapag yung isang number ay dinivide natin, for example, dito sa number 2, pag dinivide daw natin ito dito sa Given na polynomial, yung p of c nito or yung p of positive 3, kasi ito x equals positive 3, is the remainder theorem. Para mas lalo ninyong maintindihan, let's try to answer this. So, reminder lang mga anak, iniibahan ko yung mga given upang sa ganun ay subukan ninyong isolve yung nasa module ninyo, okay? So, dito sa number 1, Evaluate 3x cubed plus 2x squared minus 5x plus 1 when x equals 30. Kapag ganito yung given when x equals 30, ibig sabihin, isasubstitute mo lang yung 30 dito sa polynomial. At yung magiging sagot niya, yun yung remainder. Naintindihan? So, dito sa number 1, papalitan nyo lang ng 30 yung x. Gets ninyo? So, that is 3 times 30 x, 30 raised to 3. Plus 2x, uh, palitan na natin to ng 30, squared, minus 5 times 30 plus 1. Okay? Then, simplify na natin. Get your calculator para mas mabilis. Yung 30 raised to 3 is equal to 27,000. So, 3 times 27,000. And then, idiretso na natin. Times 3 equals... 81,000. Okay? So, ilalagay ko na dito, 81,000. Next is 30 squared naman, or 30 times 30. That is equal to 900. So, plus 2 times 900. Yung 900 sa 30 squared yun. 900 times 2 is equal to 1,800 naman. And then, minus 5 times 30 is equal to 150 plus 1. So, minus 150 plus 1. Then, i-add na natin. 81,000 plus 1,800 minus 150 plus 1 is equal to 82,651. 82,651. Meaning, ito yung remainder ng polynomial na to. Or, pwede nyong palitan to ng P of 30. Kasi 30 yung sinubstitute natin. P of 30 is equal to 82,651. Ngayon, punta naman tayo dito sa number 2. What is the remainder if x cubed plus 2x cubed? squared minus 4x plus 10 is divided by x minus 3. Diba nung nakaraang video, para makuha natin yung remainder niya, pwede nyong gamitin yung long division method or synthetic division method. Pero dito, pwede natin gamitin yung remainder theorem. So, ang gagawin nyo lang, kunin nyo muna yung divisor, equate nyo siya sa 0. So, is equal to 0. Transpose natin si negative 3 magiging positive 3. So, ang x na natin is equal to 3, di ba? Ngayon, si positive 3, kagaya ng ginawa natin dito, isasubstitute natin siya doon. So, that is p of 3 equals x cubed plus 2x squared minus 4x plus 10. By substitution, that is p of 3 equals 3 raised to 3 plus 2 times 3 squared minus 4 times 3 plus 10. Nasundan ninyo? And then, simplify na natin. So, that is P of 3 equals 
3 times 3 is equal to 9. Times 3 equals 27. Plus 2 times 3 times 3 equals 9. Minus 4 times 3 equals 12. Plus 10. Then simplify. P of 3 equals 27. 2 times 9 equals 18. Minus 12. Plus 10. Okay, pagsamasamahin muna natin yung mga nakapositive sign. So, 27 plus 18 is equal to, oh, 27 plus 18 equals 45, plus 10 equals 55. And then, 55 minus 12 is equal to 43. Ibig sabihin, ang magiging remainder nito is 43, or P of 3 equals 43. Okay? So, ganun lang siya. Next, number 3, given P of X equals 2X cubed plus 5X squared minus 8, find P of negative 1. Dito naman, kagaya lang din siya ng number 1, isasubstitute nyo lang yung negative 1 dito sa given na polynomial. Ganun lang siya. Dito kasi divisor yung given. Kaya pinalitan natin sa kanyang P of C. Alright? So, sa so number 3, P of of negative 1 equals 2x cubed plus 5x squared minus 8. Palitan natin ng negative 1 yung mga x. So, p of negative 1 equals 2 negative 1 cubed plus 5 negative 1 squared minus 8. Then, simplify. That is equal to 2. Negative 1 times negative 1 equals positive 1. Positive 1 times Negative 1 equals negative 1. Plus 5 times negative 1 squared equals positive 1 minus 8. Then simplify. P of negative 1 is equal to 2 times negative 1 equals negative 2. Plus 5 times 1 equals positive 5 minus 8. O dito naman, pagsamahin natin yung dalawang negative muna. Negative 2 plus negative 8, the same sign, so magiging negative 10. And then, negative 10 plus 5, magkaiba ng sign, so isubtract natin. That is equal to 5. Then, copy the sign of the greater number negative, kaya negative 5. So, P of negative 1 is equal to negative 5. Ibig sabihin, kapag dinivide mo yung x plus 1, dito sa polynomial na to, ang magiging remainder niya is negative 5. Okay? Bakit x plus 1? Kasi, di ba, ito... Uh, il pag ibabalik mo to sa kanyang original equation, magiging x plus 1 is equal to 0 siya. Parang ganito siya. Oh. Pag binalik mo itong 3 sa kanyang original, magiging x minus 3. Nagets ninyo? Then, number 4. If f of x equals x cubed plus 4x squared plus 3x minus 8, what will be the value of f of x at x equals 4? So, ganun din lang sa ating ginawa sa number 1 at number 3. So, f of 4 daw. So, f of 4 is equal to x cubed plus 4x squared plus 3x minus 8. By substitution, that is equal to 4 raised to 3 plus 4 times 4 squared plus 3 times 4 minus 8. Okay? Sinubstitute lang natin. And then... Simplify. So, gumamit na kayo ng calculator para mabilis. 4 raised to 3 is equal to 64. 64 plus, at ito muna, 4 times squared is equal to 16, times 4 equals 64 din. Plus, 3 times 4 equals 12, minus 8. Okay? And then, simplify. 64 plus 64 is equal to 128 plus 12 is equal to 130 minus 8 is equal to 122. Okay? So, F of positive 4 is equal to 122. So, ito na yung final answer. Alright? Number 5, we have... Use synthetic division to find the remainder when 5x squared minus 2x plus 7 is divided by x plus 2. So, ano ulit ang gagawin natin pag kukunin natin yung synthetic division? Kailangan i-arrange muna natin siya sa kanyang 
decreasing powers pero naka-arrange na to. And then yung divisor natin, papalitan natin ito ng negative 2. Kukunin natin yung opposite niya. Then kopyahin yung mga coefficient. That is 5, then negative 2, then positive 7. Then maglagay ng line. Bring down natin si 5, di ba? And then multiply natin sa negative 2. That is equal to negative 10. Then negative 2 plus negative 10, the same sign, so i-add natin. 2 plus 10 equals 12. Then copy their sign. So negative 12. And then negative 12 times negative 2 equals positive 24. Then 7 plus 24 is equal to 31. Okay? Meaning, ito yung magiging remainder niya. So, paano natin ito isusulat ulit? Babawasan lang natin yung exponent nito ng 1. So, 2 minus 1 is equal to 1. So, ang magiging final answer is 5x minus 12. Ang tinatanong dito is remainder. Meaning, r is equal to 31. So, this is now the final answer. Okay? So, ganun lang siya kasimple. Kung nakatulong ito sa inyo, please do like this video at mag-comment na rin kayo sa baba. Abangan ninyo yung learning test number 2 sa susunod na video. Once again, stay home, stay safe, stay healthy at mag-aral ng mabuti. God bless you all and goodbye!